So Stopbox USA just sent me this, their new Stopbox Pro. Holy shit, it still fucking works. We don't get too many products sent to us and probably why is because I am actually going to destroy this. So I'm gonna beat the living hell out of this and see how much torture it can take. They list it as the most rugged, secure, place to keep your pistol when it's not in the holster. They say it's drop tested to 35 feet. So we're gonna throw it off the roof of my car. I'm gonna do all sorts of wacky things to test this and see how secure it actually is. But let's go over it really quick. So it's an ABS plastic security box. It comes with a cable that you can secure it to the box, loop it through something that is secure, maybe in your, in your vehicle or in your house. It comes with a little padlock and a free magazine pouch. To open it, it's really basic. Um, I, I think young kids would definitely have a hard time. You press down with your palm of your hand with uh, a decent amount of pressure. You index with your thumb on the side button and then it comes with a preset security code, which is, I'm gonna call it one and three. You can change these codes. They say there's up to 81 different codes you can pre-program into there. And the instructions are pretty simple. I'm not gonna go over that with you. It comes with a little space for, I guess, the lock or something else. So um, to close it, you just put some pressure down Again, press with the palm of your hand, index the code. The security cable slides into a little slot in the side. All right, so you slide that in, you'd close it again, and you know, you'd know you loop that around something in your car. So we're gonna beat the hell out of this thing. I'm gonna yank on this. I'm gonna throw it off my roof. I mean, I even got some really other interesting tests that I plan on doing with it. Um, and we're gonna see how much abuse this thing can take. Basically, I'm gonna myth buster it and just work it till I smash it into pieces or it completely fails till it's no longer usable. So I'm kind of interested. It's gonna be fun for me. I hope it's gonna be fun for you. Press down, thumb, security code from the factory is one and three, open it up, pretty simple. Push the lock, you can change it to whatever code you want, but the uh, opening process is the same. You press down, index your thumb, and then press, if you change the security code, press whatever you change it to again from the factory, one and three. All right, so you have any idea why I brought you out here? I do not. All right. This is a security lockbox for a pistol. Open it. Okay. See if you can figure out how to open it. I'm guessing these are some kind of... Try to open it. So without knowing any type of function it's it's going to be difficult right all right so i'm going to tell you how to open it okay all right so your thumb has to be pushed on one of the side button and then you're going to depress button one and three one and three yes oh i feel it wait one and three at the same time yep so if you're a kid and you've seen me open it you see me kind of pressing some buttons and you're like all right he pressed one and three can you figure it out can uh, you wait. get it open so one and three and this. You can feel it doing something, but it's not. But okay. you can't get it open. No. <laughs> All, right. All right. So now I'm going to tell you exactly how it works. So okay. you have to push down with the palm of your hand, push pressure down while pressing the thumb button and the one and three at the same time. Uh, oh. So press down to press those. Oh. All right. So I'm going to say a young child probably could not figure that out no even like a 13 year old probably couldn't figure that out. yeah i think the key is the pressure with the palm of your hand and i think if so you too. don't push down right it won't open absolutely I, I i think that's actually the key so all right very good yeah. next test all right so first test up we're gonna make believe you forgot it on the back of your truck i tried to cable it to my hitch but it was too short so i tied a rope on there because i want to drag this thing about 50 yards, 75 yards, and this will be the first test. We'll see what happens. Good thing I used my old duty gun in there. 
All right, I heard some serious cracking. Uh-oh. Oh, that might have did it in already. We didn't even get to the other tests. That was kind of depressing. Not what I was expecting. Thought it would take a lot more abuse than that. All right, so we thought we broke it when we ran it over with the truck. I was able to actually just take it into the barn. Um, it just actually, the thumb button got stuck, was all it was. So we're back in action. I actually changed the code while I was in there to see how that worked. We're gonna test where the cable goes in and we're gonna see if we can break this little piece off the end of the box where the cable goes through. So let's try this here as if I had it attached to my truck. We'll throw the gun in there so it locks again we're good so if i was a thief and God dang that thing's pretty good broke it so a couple of good pulls again um more uh, i'm thinking of this as a child safety box in the house you know, I would hopefully I'm a little stronger than a child, a little bit. So, all right, so we broke that off. There goes that. Uh, next test, let's throw it out the window. And we're going to be about, how about 20 foot in the air, not 35 feet as they claim. So let's see what happens. Make sure she's still working. All right. So next test, we're going to fling it out the window. We're not 35 feet. They say it's tested to 35 feet. Um, we're about 22, 23 feet. On the box, they show a staccato. But I don't think I'm gonna do that. We'll stick with the Glock for now. I don't think I can chance it putting the staccato in there, so here we go. Here goes nothing. Sure, she still opens. Oh yeah, no problem. Man, maybe I should put this thing out in there. Look, she's she's working good now. That's it. Just need a little grease. A little grease on the rails. All right. That took a beating. That was pretty good. No damage at all. All right. So for the next test, if you don't know what this is, this is a power hammer. to find yourself in the Arctic zone and you dropped your lockbox in the water and it accidentally froze and I debated putting this on the anvil but we have the power hammer so we're gonna use that so here it is encased in a block of ice and here we go Pretty cool product. I see what it's used for. If you have kids or something like that, it's an awesome product. Let's see if it opens. Oh, it's frozen solid. Might have to, let's give it one more whack. All right, it still didn't open, which is actually pretty cool. I made a fucking mess in my shop. Maybe I can't get that thumb button open. She's still frozen there. Maybe we'll have a little whack. But this thing still is not open. I've smashed the crap out of it with a fucking power hammer. And it still won't open. Oh my god. 
I mean, it's pretty goddamn good. No, my gun is not inside. Um, yeah, so if you have kids, I get it. It's actually a really good product. There's no way they were gonna break that cable like I did. Um, you're definitely not getting into this thing unless you know how. And proof is in the pudding. Smash this thing with a fucking power hammer and it's still not opening. Like I, I literally cannot still get this open. I'm sure if I took a pry bar and started prying on it, I can get it open, but pretty impressive. I told you I was gonna break it. Um, I love smashing stuff, so as you can tell. So pretty cool. Now I might have to go out and buy another one. God damn it. Because I actually do like the product. Um, Jesus Christ. You know, especially if you have company over or something like that, you want to kind of keep it nearby and in case someone sees it, you know, it's a pretty benign looking box. You really wouldn't know what's in it um, if, you, if you weren't a gun guy. So again, I can't get, I can't get this thing open. Oh my God. Damn, boys. <laughs> that is insane. Oh my God, I just gotta get that thumb button. That thumb button is a little stuck. Oh my God. That is nuts. So short of beating it with a sledgehammer, the thing still freaking works. That is, that is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. I, I, I recommend it, man. I don't know what else to tell you. I would recommend it.